Hey everybody, Matthew Solomon here, and today's video topic is your computer brain that's running programs you don't even know about. <laughs> and for those of you who don't know me, I'm a coach. I coach you on whatever it is that you want to have, experience, whatever it is that you want in your life, whether it's you know relationships, better communication, success, career stuff, whatever it is. I'm also an award-winning filmmaker, and I'm a single father of three, and I put all this stuff to use all the time. So your computer brain. When, when I was in sixth grade, my teacher, Mr. Millman, used to talk about our computer brain. And he used to say, use your computer brain to figure this problem out. You know, as you're reading this, let this file into your computer brain. And at the time, this was the 80s. <laughs> so like, you know, personal computers were, were new. And so it was like, okay, this is a funny thing. Our brains are like computers and all of that he was on to something because our brains like computers receive process spit out information you know we receive stuff we we input stuff um, we file away stuff and it's all in there like even if you clear it out it might even still be in there if you don't clear it out right right and you know and so you know our brains are like computers and we have experiences we have thoughts we have beliefs we have things that have happened that we file away and when something comes up our brain is like is this like that is it like that is it not like this what does it mean if it is and like all the files and the stuff is all going and going and going now a lot of us have been in you know therapy or seminars or have you know read certain books where we know that things from our childhood affect our present and our future and all of that and as clear as we are on what some of those things are, there's stuff that's back there that we don't even know about. And that's when, you know, think, you know there's like a reaction to something. Like, uh, you know, if you ever get the text, um, can we talk? Or can you talk? Like, who, who, <laughs> who doesn't have that first thought of, uh-oh? And why is that? Because in the past, we've gotten the, can you talk message or can you, can we talk? And it's been a setup for a breakup or something bad or something negative, or I need to prepare you for something. And then we talk to our friends and they've all had the same experience with that particular sentence. And then you turn on the TV and they're joking about it on TV or it's part of something. And so like, there's this whole agreement, this whole world around if somebody says, Hey, can you talk? <laughs> You're like, uh Oh, when, Maybe they're just like, hey, I was just wondering if you could talk because I wanted to hear your voice. You know, I even had somebody one time, um, we were supposed to go out and she sent me this text. I have a request for dinner. I'm like, all right, cool. What's your request? And then there wasn't a response. And then some time went by and there wasn't a response. And I'm like, are you requesting that we have dinner? Are you requesting a place that we go to for dinner? Are you saying that somebody's requesting to take you to dinner and you're breaking our date? And so I had all this stuff going on because I had all the time in the world <laughs> to think about it. And luckily I knew enough to be like, all right, stop. Collaborate and listen. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and so I just waited. I went on with my day and I went on with it. And then, you know, eventually she was like, no, I had a request for, you know, where, where we would go. I want to go to this one place. Like, all right, cool. But there's this whole world that shows up. And so the thing that was there for me was like, is it not going to happen? It, did she get a better offer? Is there something wrong with me? Right. And th those are the kinds of things like I know, you know, in fourth grade, the girl I like chose my best friend and, you know, but what's the, all the other stuff that that's there a part of that. And so is your computer brain. It's running those programs. It's like your iPhone. Um, all of a sudden, my iPhone data is like through the roof and I'm getting overages. I'm like, I'm not doing anything different. In fact, I've gotten rid of apps and I'm not on there as much and all of that. And so I call up Sprint and I'm like, what's up? And they're like, we don't know. And apparently there was something in an update that turned on some function that just uses data like crazy. So I didn't know that was running. I have to tell it not to do that when I didn't even tell it to do that. So I'm telling it not to do that, but 
in addition to telling it not to do that, what am I really saying? I'm saying you need to conserve. Conserve the data. Okay, so, so now that we know that there's all these programs running that we don't even know about, what do you do? You stop. Collaborate and listen. Now, I'm sorry, my, I'm, like I said, I'm a single father, so, you know, the dad jokes are, are strong and I'm quoting Vanilla Ice. But when you stop and you get silent and you, you get into meditation, whatever that looks like, you calm yourself, you interrupt, your, you interrupt the distractions and the constant activity of your brain that's sending all these messages, which are usually survival messages, and you're saying, no, I'm going to connect with, with me, with my source, with whatever you call source, but I, I'm the source, I am connected with source. And when I meditate, that's how I connect with that. And I will focus on my breath, I will focus on a mantra, I will chant, I will, you know, whatever works for you. And you interrupt that chaos and get clarity and get grounded. And then you get what there is to do. Which a lot of times is nothing. A lot of times is, okay, I'm going to focus on this for a while. A lot of times it's, you know what, I'm going to... Go for a walk, which is another form of meditation. You know, I, I actually, I coach this a lot. I talk about meditation and coaching and like, I, I get it. A year ago before I really got into, well, yeah, before I really got into meditation, I was like, oh man, I got to sit for 20 minutes and how am I going to sit for 20 minutes? I don't have 20 minutes. And how do I focus on this thing? I keep getting distracted and I'm supposed to, you know, silence my mind and all of that. And, and so we make meditation <laughs> this bigger thing than it is when it could be sitting quietly and breathing and the whole point is and I've heard you know a lot of spiritual leaders talk about this it's not that you have distractions show up because our brain is going even when it even when it's even when we're meditating our things are happening our brain is working so it's not that you get distracted. It's that you choose something different. You stop the distraction. You say, no, okay, this is my time. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to focus on this right now. And you get back to your breath. Or you get back to your mantra. Or you get back to your chanting. Or you get back to whatever it is. And so meditation can be sitting quietly, mindfulness. It can be transcendental meditation. It can be going for a walk and touching trees, standing in the grass, it can be walking on the beach. It can be just sitting and breathing, doing a yoga class, going to a sound bath, whatever. Whatever it is that stops the distraction, has you feel better, feel good, feel like you can breathe. That's all it is. It's honoring yourself, it's putting yourself first, it's connecting, connecting to your source and getting that all this stuff out here is just stuff that's out here. So thanks for watching. I hope this has uh, made a difference for you today. I know a lot of you have probably called in sick. It's the day after the Super Bowl. Um, you can reach me at coachwithmatthewsolomon.com. I would love to speak with you, work with you. There's a, you can ask DJ Matty. You can put in a question or request there, and I'll respond with the video. Um, thank you so much. Have a great day. Do something nice for yourself.